Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, pirates of all ages. We are here inside of this storage unit right now. Look at that, Vanessa Williams. She's pretty hot, huh? $149 right there. We are inside of this ridiculously overpriced storage unit. Michael made me buy it. He said, Dad, you gotta get this one. So I was like, okay, son, let me get it. And here we are. I Indeed. actually would have said not to if I saw this price. We are just going through it, guys. Welcome back. Hope you guys enjoyed the last video. Don't forget to check out Six Picks. That's the young man behind the camera. We got Uncle Chris in the house. He's right behind us doing Uncle Chris things like moving stuff and setting up. Well, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Everybody's asking for those things, huh? And we got them. You got them. Where are you going to find these? What not. What not. Six picks. Ooh. <laughs> Storage auction oh, pirate. Storage pirate. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a darn freaking minute, Michael. Do we just get a Lewis Vuitton? Lewis Vuitton? Do we just find a Lewis Vuitton up in this Vuitton storage unit? What in the... No. Oh, I don't know. No, this thing looks old. This could actually be real. We're gonna have to do a little more research. Test it out, dude. Ooh. What should we do with this, Michael? What should we do with that? Look at that. I guess. Football, NFL. Should we put these on the auction, maybe? I don't know much about them and what their age is. Oh, there one, there's a signed one under here. Hold on a second. Hold the mustard. What do we have here, guys? Oh, 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 oh. bro. I don't even like the Raiders, but that's nice. Dude, that's kind of tight, Christopher. Yeah. You're the expert. Who do you see? I was trying to look. Dang. That's got to be bucks right there, huh? A couple hundred for sure. Guys, this filled up a b big bulk of the trailer. We also got a little bit of, we're gonna take this back to the warehouse and film. There's some exciting stuff. You can just see, ooh, look at that, 49ers. Look at that, I think Mr. Potato Head. Look at this. Oh my gosh, what is that? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Turtles in a half shell. Turtle power. Pirates, this is incredible. I spent almost $4,000 on this storage unit and I might be rich or I might have just lost four grand. I got my friend here, his name is Pickers Warehouse. It's so good to see you guys again. We actually just found a $40 book. Wow. That was in the first box. What made you want to look at that? I don't like that. Oh. Because uh, spawn over 100 and in the 100 range can be very, very good. Like, That's so weird. Valuable. So you want spawn number one, spawn number nine, spawn number 11. Those are decent books. But when you start getting over the 100s, you kind of got to look. This is a variant from my quick research. Cover P, and uh, I don't like I said I don't like that, but someone's gonna buy this. Well, look at this. I mean, this is old. Each one of these you're gonna wanna, and these uh, kind of obscure ones, dude, are worth checking out. What I'm here to do basically is to Ooh, let smurf. the pirate know if there's any key issues that I'm familiar with. Yeah, we're definitely not gonna show you guys each one of these comics. One, two, three, four, <laughs> yeah, yeah. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. But boxes. anything, oh. anything with a ten cent, anything, it doesn't matter. Well, Pre-code. Let me show you a book that has a code. So here is, here's a code. Mm. This is a postcode horror with the uh, the comic code authority. So if you can get horror before they made that code, you. Okay, so no code, code. There's no code on this exactly. So. They were not looking through to see the content. There was all kinds of really, really hardcore content in the early stuff. And then a comic book code authority came through and said, we're going to make sure that there's not crazy stuff in these books. The fun suckers. Free code horror. You can have one book that'll buy your truck. So let's just be somewhat thorough, but we're also going to go quick because we have... Yeah. We're, okay. missing, we're missing dinner. My dinner's ready right now. See how much I love this man and what he does? I come over here. Dinner's hot. What is it? Pizza. You could have came in. Oh, <laughs> she, <laughs> he said pizza. She said, um, "We're gonna, we're gonna start eating without you." But that's okay. Stuff like this, I don't, I don't love. But people do buy it. Man from Uncle, he got some upside down guys. Here. Yeah, isn't that weird? It's like, I don't know where that happened. So it's just a lot of. And there could be good ones. There's like weird Pink Panthers and a 
ALF comics that have questionable stuff, but ten cent, I mean anything ten cent. You're gonna have your work cut out for you going through these because you do need to look up stuff that's this old. You just have to. So I'm gonna give you kind of a my normal routine is I just put old stuff up one at a time on, on my whatnot show. Yeah. Sundays guys. Two to two to noon somewhere in there. PM Pacific Standard Time. Shameless plug. Like this but stuff's cool. It, it, it's hard to research, right? When you just list it like that, you're you're banking on people knowing more than one person because you need somebody else to bid against somebody to really find out if it's valuable. And if you're having a variety show, you, there could only be two comic book people in the room. And yeah. Room. I remember Pirate one time sold a, a Spider-Man 300, and I I was bidding on it. I think I bid the $300 on it. That did pretty good. Yeah, someone did uh, 325, and then I stopped. That Army of Rock seemed intriguing. I mean, like I said, yeah. my knowledge, I'll be able to tell you if I see any major key issues, but anything super old, you're going to have to look up. Okay. Guys, well, I'm not going to film every step of this, but I'm going to show you kind of more, and then plus it'll be easier for him to do what he has to do if he just looks. That's a ripoff yeah, right there. All these kind of obscure ones, some of them could be big money for some reason okay. or another. I'm no expert, but uh, I know enough. When we find some key issues and so forth, we'll make a little stack of like, this is 40 or something, you know. You have more boxes than this? Oh, uh, well, no, not a comic. What uh, the heck's he doing, guys? I was gonna bring you something. I want you to ask if I had toys. I was gonna try to show Oh, yes, toys from this unit would be awesome. Look at this. Here's something you can look at that one thing that I was surprised to find. That is not a toy, ladies and gentlemen. No, it's not, but and it's not even a good team. Oh, my gosh. But I thought that was a random find. Yeah. That's signed by like 50 people. Yeah. That's awesome. That's cool. Nobody's Too bad it wasn't the 49ers. We're going to get so much hate in the comments, aren't we? So these are all newer. Michael filmed this on his channel, so we haven't even shown this on mine. Oh, I see neat, colorful things. Yeah. I'll let you do that in a second. Just to make sure. Look, we got some old Star Trek books. It's kind of neat. Yeah, oh, there was two and three. I didn't see UFOs, Mars Attacks. How fun is that? Great movie. Love it. Doctor Weird. All right, calm down. Ah, Pickers Warehouse Special. Ooh, look at that kind of anime looking stuff. What is that? I know a guy who wants that. You get a little Punisher cutout. That's cool. That's kind of neat. I would have had so much fun if I bought this unit. Little Orphan Annie. What's that? This is. Betty Page. Is that is that Betty Page? Mm -hmm. Oh, but see it's signed. That is not signed by Betty Page, but that's oh, no. signed by somebody. The artist maybe? I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, maybe the artist who did some of these uh So what is what I'm saying? Like this box was just like this. It kinda had like all of his stuff together. Is there a ton of boxes like this? These not ton. Not ton. Now. This stuff's cool, man. It's different. Nineteen ninety eight. Let's see what's in the white box, y'all. Gundam. Mobile suit. I don't want to open it, but it looks like a thing. That might be like a bunch of little $20 bills. Cool. Oh, yeah. Buffy. That's uh, this thing's great. Some neat stuff. Yeah. And then under here is just some more. I'd have a ball with this. Look at these little guys. Boom. What is this? Boom, little dinosaur buddy. A little jogging guy. And a cheeseburger Happy Meal. Dude, this is awesome. Yeah. This is cool. That's really old. Wow. Yeah, made in Japan. Look at that. I didn't even see that one. And we've been finding some cool books. And like nothing really strike home, but a lot of ten dollar items. A lot of ooh. Simpsons wow. Treehouse of Terror. That's fun. And we just pulled a Street Fighter Two. Regardless of value, that's a really cool book. Really cool. If you were looking through comics, look at this Army of Darkness. People like stuff like that too. Army of Darkness is fire. I know, right? This guy had fun stuff. And there is some valuable stuff that we're finding. A lot of it, guys, we gotta look up because there's so many. You know the there. little transformers? They're plastic. Not the the newer plastic ones, but the older ones. But we're like little plastic, like this. I got about fifty of those. Well, let's look at those. I don't know where they are. He said, "Let's look at those." <laughs> Box of Mad magazines. 
I don't know much about these, but people do ask about these quite often. Well, let's see the ones that are in the super protectors. Oh. Uh. So this is something that was shipped to them, and they haven't... The ones that were shipped to you, I believe, they would all have this protective cover over them. Okay. And then the ones you get at the store, no protective cover. I thought these were like the, the first ones in brown paper <laughs> bags. I was like, damn it, yes! <laughs> Woo! 1925, but we do have some old ones. All right. 1972. Let's just grab this little chunk, shall we? 75. There's some older ones here, y'all. Yeah. This one's completely trashed, but... I'm going to win it, but I'm going to get a lot of comments on these guys, and I'm going to tell you, we're probably going to have these on or whatnot if you're interested. Look at this. Ooh. Holy smokes. Valentine's. It's coming <laughs> up. Pickers, pirates, holy smokes. This is old ones. We haven't opened this yet. Uh, neither one of us have seen it, but... That's old, and that's his old ones. So let's see. They're they're not old, so far. Click faded. Green Goblin number one though. What if that was a good one? That could be. Man, we want old ones. So these are all kind of newer ones, but hold on, there's hope. There could be some good variants Ooh, there. That's kind of different. That's kind of nice. See, that's like kind of independent. Hey, he's cool. Captain Oh, that is very that old. is kind of cool. That's just a cover, though. Or no, it's a, it's a little thin magazine, dude. I might have the dibs in. You got to look that up at least. It's not Disney, though, is it? Alice in Wonderland. There's Ooh. another variant of your spawn. I think just because we've been pulling all those out. I mean, I don't know if you want all of them, mm. but more variants of your. Old ones, it was such a lie. That's kind of cool. Carnage. Wolverine. What is that? Spider Island. That's pretty cool. And two, mm, two broken cat. ones. The There's some cool books here, guys. We don't know much about the value, but they're a little different and they're neat to look at. Just the covers. They're very old, only 50 cents. How often was anything 50 cents? They're, you can buy nothing for 50 cents now. It's a good price. Ooh. Old monster book. Oh, yeah. These are friggin' awesome. This is pretty cool, too. Oh, Darth Vader, look at this one. That is awesome. Look at these two. These oh, are, my gosh. These are awesome. Sesame Street Spider Man. For graduates of Sesame Street, 1977. And then this one, I've had this one, so just something stood out. That's very cool. Neat. I'd look those up, too. Guys, look at these ones here. Those are kind of cool. We got a couple cool magazines here. Yeah, I bet and I think that was kind of cool. Look at all of that. Well, what do you think? How, I mean, just in value. Definitely a couple thousand, right? I mean, at 50 cents a piece, it's a couple thousand. So you've got, what, 150 per short box times three, six. Yeah, for sure. But the fact is, a lot of those books are going to be worth a lot more. So there's like, there's, all together, there's probably about 1,400 comics. Right. Good. That's good. Okay, Justin, uh, Justin got dibs pound. He wouldn't let me pay for these, although I insisted. But these are amazing. These are vintage Beavis and Butthead PVC figures that I had as a kid. So these are literally, I'm going to I'm gonna play with these uh, tonight. They're unopened. You can just look on the internet. That's how they are sealed. Those are, those are actually new old stock. Oh, ones. no. Maybe I, sh I saw them, like one listing that was in those bags. Because I want to touch them so bad. What if it was actually his listing and his stuff still on eBay? But then look at, <laughs> it could be. Um, look at this. Aliens vs. Predator, you gotta get that. Beetlejuice, had to get that one. Mike gave me this one, because I am a fan of both of these things, so he gave me that one. I'm enjoying that. And then Snake Plissken, Escape from New York. Can't beat it. What a, what a beautiful night. I'm gonna go eat dinner. He's gonna go eat dinner. This has been beautiful. Pickers Warehouse TV, check them out. Thank you. Pirate, here we are Saturday morning. We've already done some stuff. Oh my god, it's getting wet too. We went, by we, I mean Sticks Picks and his Uncle Chris joined us as well. We went to the flea market, came back here to the warehouse. I was going to go finish moving the 14-year sealed unit, get ready for the flea market and my warehouse. Oh my gosh, guys, we have some scrambling to do. We just got done eating breakfast, so we're not like in a mass hurry, but it does have to get done. We got to overhaul the warehouse because everywhere you look, water's dripping. Um, I, don't, I don't even know. I haven't even gone through these boxes, but that... Like it's red beam, red beam. I don't see too much things getting damaged there. That was safe. But you walk all the way through my warehouse. Oh my gosh, it's so fun. Anybody wanna buy a boat? 
anybody, anybody whatsoever. Um, come back here, come back here. Look right here. See all this? And it's in a red, on the lines of the red beam. It's starting to stop and dry up because it wasn't much, but we have to be careful. Cause, so I'm gonna overhaul the warehouse because we've got a cold front coming. Tarp off my horde of models I've been saving. I, I, actually, I guess I collect models now. That's a rainy day weather. And I'm gonna try to put my canopies right here. And that's my task, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget the like button, share button, subscribe, say something pretty. <sighs>